All right. We have got a transmission. This came out of my best friend Brad's. Was it a Troy built? Anyway, for, for people who want to know, this is upside down, but there's a code for this. This is a transmission that has the shaft appears to be a three-quarter um, shaft. Uh, anyway, that differential in here should be just about the right size. For our application, oh, as a differential for the trike. And it should be quite a bit smaller than this one, which has a one inch shaft and quite a bit more metal than we'd see we would need for a bicycle this a tricycle this size. And anyway, <laughs> so solar trike may be back on the road here pretty quick, thanks to Brad and his wife Bonnie, who I get a kick out of. She's she's a kick in the pants there, Bonnie. Just like did grandpa says she's what did he say? She's tart or whatever. She's he really liked Bonnie. You got a kick out of Bonnie. Anyway, and Brad. <laughs> anyway, Brad gave me this here. We took it out of his little uh, Troy built uh, riding lawnmower. And uh, this is, I guess you need to see from the top here. It's a belt drive, which it had a, a more substantial drive in ways than my big Craftsman with the one inch. That, that one inch differential came out of. Anyway, I'm anxious to tear into it. Look at how, what it takes to put a sprocket on it and get it in there and get those axles back on my trike and get rolling again. Thanks, Brad. Bonnie, really appreciate it. Hey. All right. Well, then, we got the differential out. It looks to me to be going to be a perfect fit. Um, first of all, it puts this part of this where the sprocket will be, which that will be the sprocket there. It gives it a perfect place to tie on to, which puts the ends of the axles right at the outsides where they need to be through the hubs. I've got the wheels. Brad gave me the wheels, so I have the the center. The centers will fit onto the shafts, and I can adapt them to the bicycle hubs. Or it looks like with the bearings removed from the bicycle hubs, they may be a nice snug fit onto those axles. It's going to be very interesting. Anyway, isn't that great? That's good. And the bushings. Um, I, I the potentially will make this not bearings, roller bearings, but a bushing setup. It's something I'm probably going to do because I have the bushings. Anyway, that makes it a, really a nice. Thank you, Brad. Well, you really saved the day on the trike. Looks like it's going to really, really be nice. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, check this out. Is this badass or what? I'll give you kind of a slow look around here. It's just sitting on there. But that is a differential with chain drive. Look at that beautiful thing. And look at it. It just fit perfect. It's a uh, it's going to be just a little bit wider, you can tell by the fenders. Probably about an inch wider than it was before altogether. That's not too bad, that's a good thing. The plan is to see the only bummer with this thing is, is you can't put it in <laughs> into, the, into the frame in here. So my plan is to take this frame out and cut it in half. Assemble each half with the wheel and everything on it. Put the halves together 
with dowels in the pipes, assemble a differential, and um, then uh, when everything's lined up and, and good, then uh, weld, at least tack weld, but weld the, the frame back together. And I think that'll be all right. I don't know, that's my plan. And then I'll paint it blue and put it under the solar trike. Mm hmm. And we'll be back on the road again. That's what the plan is. And I think it looks pretty damn good. That uh, I took all the teeth off that gear, and you can tell it's a, it's not the you know machine shop good, but it's okay, and it doesn't have to be that great. It's uh, not a high RPM deal or anything like that. Um, that's the lubrication is going to be a deal. It uh, it'll need to be a little bit of, I guess grease is what needs to be is a little bit of heavy hard oil in there. And, uh, but ain't that something? Is that going to be the sharpest Meridian three-wheeler? And it's going to be three-wheel drive. But these on it, with that differential, and then in the electric drive on the front, it's going to be an honest three-wheel drive. And with the differential, it's still it should be very maneuverable and nimble. Okay. Well, I just wanted to show you, give you an update. My buddy Brad and Bonnie, his wife Bonnie, gave me this gearbox, and I got this differential out of it. And this is what I put together here on the quick. I'd like to get this thing going again so I can get on to bigger and better things. Okay, well, thanks for watching.